All right, what we have here is a 118 scale Bronco. It's made for uh, G.I. Joe, as you can see. It's got um, beach head up in there, and the doors open up. And he was holding on to the steering wheel there, as you can see. Um, 118 scale, it's kind of hard to find, um, but they're out there, and I've luckily found a 118 scale Bronco. The other side of the uh, door, of course, opens up, and you can see inside it's all custom, custom interior with a, uh, a dashboard, seats, and you could fit another G.I. Joe figure up in there, or 118 scale figure up in there. As you can tell it's got uh, detail, detail pins and the body can be taken off. I'm going to show you now the um, articulation. It's got the articulation of a uh, uh, crawler. Um, as you can see uh, it's got pretty good um, shocks in the front. It's got wheelie bars in the back, so when it does pop a wheelie, this vehicle is fast. It's um, it's scaled 118, but it's got the uh, engine of a uh, 110 scale. Um, this is where the uh, battery goes, the battery compartment. As you can tell, there's a lot of nicks on the body. It's only because I've taken it out for a few times. Um, to take it out and test drive it and, and make sure that it runs right. Um, the top comes off and as you can see this is the electronics portion of it. The electronics portion that, that actually makes a difference is the battery. It's a Dean's connector um, right here as you can see. The Dean's connector and the on off switch right here on and off and the um, tailgate actually it comes off I mean it makes it easier for the battery um, the white portion that you see right here the uh, this is the battery retainer that I've installed it's just to make sure that the battery doesn't um, bounce around and knocks the uh, camper um, the camper portion off here, which the camper serves as a battery retainer, and as you can see, it just pops on. It has been modified, so it can pop on and off. As you can see right here, it just snaps on. So what we're gonna do now is do a uh, drive test. Um, as you can see, um, I'm going to do it now at 360 and I'll go get the remote. What we're using is a uh, attack. Um, Tamiya old school remote control. Um, it does run off a of crystal number six, and uh, I'll show you now the uh, the functionality of it. It is pretty fast, so you do have to watch out on how fast you do make a turn. Left, right, forward, backward. Now, um, like I said before, it's pretty fast. It does have some pretty good articulation and pretty good uh, suspension. But when you're making a turn, you shouldn't be in full speed because the full speed does kind of tend to uh, roll over. It does have those wheelie bars right there, as you can see. Uh, there's a wheelie bar, so you can make a wheelie. And I'll show you the wheelie first. Uh, 
Now that was at an extreme wheelie. I was talking about. It's a pretty durable vehicle. I've uh, taken it out plenty of times. As you can see, it's pretty powerful. It uh, it goes over gravel easily. I'm gonna take it over here on the right hand side and uh, show you how gravel is no big deal for it. It's got the monster wheels, monster tires. It's designed, of course, as a, uh, nine, a 18, 118 scale uh, monster truck. As you can tell, it just rolled over because I took it off uh, uh, left turn um, too fast. And that's what happens when you turn it too quick. It's got a good turning radius, but um, the turning radius is n it's good, but it shouldn't be used unless you're gonna going on uh, good comfortable speeds. So now we're gonna watch it. We're gonna go ahead and pan out um, to see the full speed of it. As you can see, it's it's very fast, very fast. So um, whenever you do take the turns, you gotta be very careful. Um, show you on the good turning radius or uh, I should say um, turning speed it can take some serious jumps And it could take some serious wheelies. And of course, like I said, it was a 118 scale. It's uh, it's a Giorgio size. And uh, not too many people are making a 118 scale. If you guys are interested in making this or buying this, it's uh, Real T Customs. Look up my website. It's still the website is still uh, being built. So if you uh, if you guys are interested or uh, or have any questions on how to make one of these, just let me know, and um, I will uh, try to uh, send, send you guys uh, some tips. Or, uh, or some suggestions or you guys could uh, try to make one of this alright so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and uh, you guys take care